Hello, Barmeni. Welcome to another episode. Uh, so today we're going to try to reach out to as many international uh, subscribers uh, as we can. Well, not subscribers, chillers. Let me rather say that. Uh, Ghost Lady is with me. She's about to join. Ghosty, Ghosty. Mtase. Hello. All right, Mtase. How? <laughs> Are you already talking with people? Yeah, I was already recording. I was just checking it out if it's working. Oh, okay. Eh, eh, eh. I'm thinking, uh oh. <laughs> Are you How well? Are you? I'm great. How are you? How's day six? Uh, I'm good. I just, uh, uh, my girlfriend uh, forced me to wash uh, the dishes. Imagine a old Mac G. Well, you have already started by uh, operating a popcorn machine. I think <laughs> it's in your league already. <laughs> and yourself? I was we already respect side. you so much. Eh? And yourself, how's it going inside? Oh, it's fine. We've been, we've been getting into exercising. In fact, I just came out of the shower because I was literally, you know, locked on now looking at exercise or this whole routines or doing step and some cardio, what, what. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. I, rather you than me. Yeah. Eh? No, and, and washing dishes also. You know, I knew I had to wash dishes at some point. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm trying I'm to connect. Uh, you know, you have to try and do anything just to keep active. iPhone Sam, here we go. Okay, Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Great, thanks. Uh, so, who is this? Who are we talking to? Um, this is Sam. Uh, well, Situnya is my name, but I go by Sam because nobody can say Situnya here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm in Rochester, New York. Oh, you're in New York. Can we see your face, man? Let's see your face. I, I thought I joined using video. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. I want to see that pretty hey. face of yours. Hey. hey. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Hi, Sam. Well. Hi. So how how are it? you? I'm good. Uh, well, not really. I'm frustrated. <laughs> okay, let's start with this. How long have you been hey. in New York for? And what are you doing there? Um, since August last year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you haven't picked up on the accent yet, me. No, I'm not trying to pick up on it. I hope I don't pick up on it. I think I'm good with the English I'm speaking. And how is it that side? Well, it's. I think it gets frustrating every day realizing you actually can go anywhere, even if you wanted to. Uh, people are walking more, they're going outside more just to, to get some fresh air. Uh, yeah, I mean, what can you do? It's Corona. But it doesn't, like when I watch CNN, it doesn't look like it's as hectic as other countries in America. I mean, like people, like you were saying, people are walking around. We can't even walk the dog. And I think the, the rationale behind <laughs> walking is yeah. you're not in anybody's space. And I think that's why they are allowing it. And also because if they didn't, then people would probably go mental because of just being indoors. Uh, and I mean, New York State has the highest rate so far and more people are dying in New York State than anywhere else in the United States. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the, the caution has been to just stay um, in an isolated space. Like try not to associate with anyone. Take a walk, yes, but don't mix with people. And that's the thing people are not, you know, getting to um, and understanding and actually practicing. And do you think uh, Donald Trump has handled this thing well? <laughs> I think he struggles with being vulnerable. That's, that's, that's what I'm seeing for him. He knows how to be that guy mm. in the boardroom telling people do this, do that. He doesn't know how to lead people, especially in a time of crisis. Um, so the fact that he can't be vulnerable and still lead is, I think what is, and also the fact that I think he takes for granted what the virus could do. Sorry, somebody's bending something somewhere. Um, he's taking for granted the fact that the virus could kill potentially a lot more people and some people are just carriers and that could mean more harm to people who, you know, have underlying factors like we've been seeing the fact saying. So, yeah, it's been interesting watching him say one thing and then go back on it, but it's not atypical of him. 
it's something he does. We're just used to it in the economy side of things. Now it's a crisis and I guess. And you yeah. first lady, do you want to ask, do you want to ask uh, Sam something? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to ask Sam. Sam, um, mm -hmm. tell us, what are the restrictions that you guys have that side? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a graduate student. So school has closed. Um, school um, residentials have closed as well. People have been asked to go back home or find somewhere else to stay because usually in those spaces, it's like you share the dorm and probably the bathrooms. I, I haven't really been in that side, so I don't know for sure. Um, so we're learning through Zoom. Uh, all our classes are online. Either lecturers are recording them and then sending us their recordings or we join online um, through Zoom. And then with shops, we're only advised to go to grab the bare necessities, which I think now thinking about it, people who hoarded or panic shopped mm. are probably just regretting that decision. Um, and also only essential people are asked to go to work. So everybody else who can absolutely work from home is advised to do so. Uh, yeah, and just staying in, staying in and staying away from groups of people. I mean, my, my uh, where I stay, they close gym and somebody posted the other day is like, if you're going to close everything, then please maybe think about reducing the rent as well. But, you know, it's, <laughs> Yeah, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. Oh, All right, so just in closing, do you miss SA? Okay, I'm actually not from SA. I'm from Botswana, but oh. I do have family in SA, and I do miss SA. Actually, yeah, I yeah. love going to SA. It's um, one of my favorite places to be, and I'll probably settle there eventually. But I think I miss, I miss the vibe of Africans. Like mm. I miss the Aww. food. I took for granted, you know, mayonnaise, cool beans, simple things that you mm. think you would find everywhere else. And then you come to the, you find they have completely different stuff that is not even fun to cook with or to eat. Mm. And then Aww. I found they don't have Hunter's Gold. Hunter's oh, Gold. <laughs> My feelings were hurt. My feelings were very hurt. Oh, shame. And how long have you been better. listening to the podcast? <laughs> I've been listening to the podcast for, where did you guys start? I think I used to be an in and outer, like I'd just go on YouTube and then find something. I used to not be a YouTube person, actually. And yeah. since I've gotten here, I think I've become more committed to the podcast and chill um, sessions. It's, it's amazing. Aww. I like it. Thank you so much, man. Nice. Do you want to send a shout out before we let you go? Ah. Uh, I'd like to send a uh, shout out to my friends, Lunga and Joburg, Um, I've been actually arguing with them. The worst thing to do is argue with people over WhatsApp about serious issues like this. So yeah, shout out to my family in Messina, shout out to my family in Botswana. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, Sam. We love you long term. All right. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Stay safe, safe and wash hands. Yes, you do. Yay, definitely. And <laughs> try not to become alcoholics. I'm finding it very difficult not to drink during yeah. this time. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We're drinking water right now. <laughs> yes, try to drink water, <laughs> juice, anything but alcohol. At All least right, take breaks. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. All right, cool. That was to, nice. Hmm, let's go to Muzo. It sounds like they're going pretty much the same thing that we're going through, but if you yeah, check CNN, going through. they're not taking this thing seriously, bro. Who? America. In America? Yeah. Yes. And, and like people, and in, now they are dead toll has even surpassed the dead toll of all the other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've told everyone they must put on the, they must switch on the microphones when they come on. It goes late. Okay. Mm. Oh, you're saying what else have I been watching? I've been watching Ozark. I'm almost done with Ozark on Netflix. Yo. I'm halfway through. I'm halfway through Ozark. We're watching the same things, yeah. meh. Yeah? We're watching the same <laughs> things. As if we actually communicate about it. It's like, oh, you watch that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. So I love hear... Ozark. So what? Can you hear us, bro? Yeah, I got you. I can hear you. I'm yeah, but your mic can put on the other side as well because you, your mic sounds very low. I don't know why. Really? Mm. Can I try to adjust it on the on the thing here? Yeah, try adjust it. I can what, hear him. 
Can you hear me? She can hear me. The lady can hear me, Mac. Oh, okay. I can hear you, but it's so <laughs> You said your name is Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Oh, welcome, bro. Where are you from? Uh, Lesotho. Oh, Lesotho. Oh. Ah, you're just ah, here, Moose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are there restrictions in Lesotho, by the way? <laughs> are, are there any? Restrictions. What's happening in Lesotho? Uh, you mean, in, in, like, with regard to the coronavirus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're on, they started their lockdown on Monday. Oh. Uh, so they are the second day in, they are complaining. I'm like, dude, we are six days in here. What's wrong with you? How long is your lockdown? How, wait. Uh, it's 21 days. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm from Lesotho, but I'm based in Cape Town. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'm actually talking to, you guys, talking to you guys from Cape Town right now. Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. Well, what you know, Cape Town acts like they're international. So, uh, you know, ah. at, at you can call your international call. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I qualify both ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thanks for the love, bro. Thanks for the love, man. And keep on watching. No all right. problem. No problem. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, cool. No, I had to cut him off because the line was bad, man. I couldn't hear him properly. Yeah. Yeah, let's try Musa. We've got Musa and Zama. Okay, let's see if Musa will come on. Musa. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm saying, so I started with Tiger King. Now I'm about to catch yeah. up Zach. I'm also trying to catch up um, with um, Money Heist because I, mean, I know the new season is coming in April. Yes. Oh, this month or next month? Yeah. No, it's so coming this Friday. Up. This Friday, Money Heist, yes. Oh, wow. So I had literally today, tonight, and tomorrow to finish it. <laughs> 100%, yes. What did you think of oh, Tiger oh, King? Oh, oh. How crazy is it? It's crazy. Oh, my God. Greed. Greed. Oh, wow. Yo. It's a show that just reminds you, like, listen, you need to really keep, <laughs> you need to constantly check yourself in life because you don't know what you're going to just end up. Oh, man. It was how's so the, sad at the end. How was the guy with uh, eight wives? Oh, that, but he's so clever. <laughs> that guy has a whole cult going on. He's got a whole cult. <laughs> and, this, and it's so true. They bait these women or well, kids or whoever these lovers through pets, literally. Mm, I, mm. I, uh, people, hey, you need to be careful out there. <laughs> All right. You'll show that this, this Timbu guy flames. <laughs> and remember on Monday, I told you, I'm like, what? It's got some Miss Timbu vibes going. What's going on there? Ah, uh, Sandy's back. What up, Sandy? What's happening, people? We good. Sandy from man. Qatar. It feels like I'm becoming a regular on the podcast. Yeah, give other kids a break. We'll chat to you. No, no, hold back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Send, send a shout out. Send a shout out to your Hello. family. And How are you, Zama? I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys doing? We are great, man. So where are you calling from? We're uh, great, so great I, Zama. Hey, ghost lady. Um, so I'm, I'm in France, in Bordeaux. Oh, in mm. Bordeaux. Yeah. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Yeah. Oh man, I've always wanted to come to France. I, I can speak a bit of French. Okay, go uh, for it. Uh, je m'appelle Magaiva. <laughs> oh. Uh, Chante. Uh, uh, comment tu t'appelles? Uh, moi, je m'appelle Zama. Ah, comme si, comme ça. Comment ça va? Au revoir. <laughs> That's all yes, I know. I, <laughs> okay. I just asked you how are you, and you said goodbye. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, come see, come sir. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how, how's it? Because uh, I remember you sent us a video, and you were telling us that you guys have been on lockdown. Uh yes. Yeah, so we've been. Um, well, they said fifteen days. Actually, today is the fifteenth day, but like, however, the like all the shops and everything else has shut like shut before we went on lockdown yeah. um so that's basically i think 17 days now and then but like the official the official like official 
was um, 15 days today. And uh, so basically like when we go out, uh, to, we are allowed to go out to the shops, uh, to buy cigarettes or whatever. Oh, you guys and, can buy cigarettes. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, we can buy cigarettes. <laughs> we can drink, can okay? We can drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. First lady, we should have quarantined in France. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, so um, so basically, we have to like sign a like a a, a, a permit, like a permission form that uh, we can download online, mm. and then print it out, and then sign, fill it out, and then you have to say if you're walking your dog or uh, you're going to the shops or whatever it is that you're going to do, and then you can only be um, out of the house for an hour, and then you have to be like within one kilometer of where you stay. Wow, that doesn't sound mm. too bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah, but like we can definitely get some wine. Yeah, yeah. As long as you've got yeah. the letter. But how, how bad are the cases? Because I know in Italy it's really, really bad. Uh, I think yesterday when I checked, uh, we were on like 55,000. No. <sighs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's deep. Uh, it was on 55,000 and like critical cases was, um, it's over 5,000 now. And um, oh, apparently, gosh. apparently there was a, a live address um, about two, three days ago. And they said that this week was going to be like even more. So they're expecting even more um, cases this week. Um, so yeah, we just like staying at home and just you know, taking extra care. Like I went to, I went to the pharmacy earlier and um, I like, I, I was like standing so far from the counter, you know? And so I'm learning, I'm learning to speak French and my friend sometimes sounds like Zulu. <laughs> so what did you and say? I was like, all covered up, you know? <laughs> No shame. It's scary. But, yeah, it's very scary. So if you, if you have yeah, a if, if you have a boyfriend, can you go during that hour, trough trough, and then come no. back? No, no, <laughs> no trough trough allowed. You know, no touching, self self distancing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like no trough trough allowed. You, you got a boyfriend like, that side? Have you found it? No, show? no. I'm a, I'm a freelancer. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long have you been there? Yeah. Uh, it's been a year. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's a year now. Uh, so I'm I'm learning French. Uh, I'm learning French. I'm still like working on my plans. Uh, yeah. but like the like the problem here is uh is language basically because I like that most was a career learning French. No, but like you have to learn French before you can like look for a job and stuff. Oh, you know. I see. But when so I your, your mission is to get a job that side. Yeah, my mission is to basically settle. Oh, okay. So how do you pay rent and stuff? How do you pay your bills? Um, I pay them, you know. I'm oh. on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you pay them. Pay those bills, girls. Pay yeah, it's, bills. It's, it's God's grace, you know. <laughs> God is a good man. Hey, very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so basically, when I came here, I came for an internship um, in um, in an art gallery in Saint oh. Emilion. Uh, yeah. So I work within the 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 visual arts um, space. Uh, oh. So and I worked uh, for eight months. So basically, like I got to which like in Save um, you know, that was before I then decided that like I actually wanted to um, stay longer in France. Don't you miss yeah. chicken licking? No, no, I'm a vegetarian, so oh. no chicken licking. You know, oh. just okay. pescatarian um, actually. So just seafood and stuff. Don't you miss lucky star? Lucky star. Ay, ay, ay. I think I think I think Google Sikon are eating fish as yes. uh because like the 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 girl uh, who had the job that I came for the previous mm -hmm. girl uh so yeah. the artist that she was with told me we're writing eating fish but like uh I I haven't looked for it but I'm sure Wutikon 
you know maybe okay. like a different a different version of lucky like star but yeah yeah and in, mm. and in, and and in, and in joburg where you from i mean in essay uh, durban uh, joburg joburg oh, yeah. okay cool where yeah. in joburg uh jepis town so mm. where to mm. you can down no. <laughs> wow, yeah. so okay. before man. before I before I came here, I was staying in in Jeppy Town, just oh. uh by Maboning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Zama, nice to speak to me. Do you want to send a shout out to my, anyone who might be watching this in SA? Uh, no, no, no shout oh, out. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just shout out to the podcast, you know. Keep growing, guys. And yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's really great. Thank, thank you, you man. so much. We appreciate the love. All right, Zama. Cool. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Yes, now you can say it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, bro. It was nice. Mm. I told you this was going to be nice. I like this idea of just connecting with the international subscribers. Mm. Hey, Mara, who cares? How is she paying the bills? Who cares? Ah, eh, who needs a job? Who cares? Seven to Kalari. Jobby job. Seven to Kalari. Jobby job. As Len would say, it's better than no job. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, let's try Musa. I'm trying to tell Let's see who connects first. And then Sandy's still here. He's still waiting for us. No, Sandy must send a shout out. Okay, Ntielo. Hi, can you hear us? Please turn on your mic. Connect to the audio so we can hear you. Yeah, can you turn on your mic, please? Let me unmute him. Unmute. All right. Hey. Musa, how are you, Musa? Hello. Hello. I'm how good, and you? I'm great. Where are you calling from? There is... um, I'm in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Hi, Musa. Is Musa Hi, wearing a t-shirt, a podcast t-shirt? Yeah, representing. Oh, <laughs> oh I got, yay. I got it. I got it from the speed dating thingy that you had oh, there. Nice. I came up. Oh, yeah. that's so dope, man! Thank you so much, eh? Yeah, I remember I, 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 I told you guys that I will be coming home. It will be my birthday, so yeah, I was celebrating my birthday. And did Actually, you find a match on that speed dating? How's that for I, you ask? Didn't participate. <laughs> I didn't participate because, well, at that time I was just going through a whole lot of stuff, so I couldn't stay much. So I just yeah. came out to meet you guys because I'm always watching your the videos and all that. So I just wanted to be part of it. Just feel like a chiller. Oh, thank you so much, man. We appreciate the love. How's Saudi Arabia at the moment? How's the lockdown? Uh, well, I'm not really experiencing it. Well, there is a lockdown, I guess, but because I'm, I'm an essential worker. So I'm oh. working, I'm going to work every day. So for me, I'm not seeing anything. I know that the roads are really, it's like a ghost town. Mm. Coming mm. back from work. What do you do there? I'm a nurse. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So you are really I, important. <laughs> Thank so it's like it's on lockdown but then here what they do is from 3 p.m until 6 a.m that's a lockdown but they advise people to so stay how did at you home. choose saudi arabia mm -hmm. um it was not my first choice i wanted to go somewhere else but i just wanted to leave all i know is that i just wanted to leave and go somewhere so that i'd be able to travel as well so it made me travel mm. a lot being here and I just wanted something different. And Saudi came around, so yeah. So let me get this straight. It's between, okay. between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., that's when it's locked down. Yeah. So any other time, you that's how it free is. to but do then, whatever. Like, during... Yeah, they are free to do whatever that they want to do. You can go out. You can do whatever. But like minimal people, it's not like, that's the only time, actually, let me just say this. I think this is the only time where you can go do your grocery shopping and do all those important things that you want to do. But basically, it is under lockdown. But from 6 a.m. until 3 p.m., that's the time where you can do whatever. But from 3 until 6 a.m. in the morning, it's lockdown. 
Oh, and then because uh, oh, okay. you because you in the nursing uh, department, how are the 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 cases in in Saudi Arabia? The cases are there. The thing is, to be honest, for me, I work in units, so we don't see much of it. Mm. Oh, and um, but then in adults, I hear there are some cases, but you know, it's Saudi. It's nice for them because they're rich or whatever. Yeah. So whomever that is suspected or whatever is automatically shipped to another province where there's a hospital say shot. for them. Yeah, I was going to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 my G. They are taken to another hospital where they are treated. You understand? Wow. So we not we don't get to see... Um, so many cases, especially in our hospital. As much as my hospital is the biggest hospital ever in, in Saudi, but we don't. We were the ones who were taking care of the MERS call. Oh, how many cases do you guys you have know about it? The last time I the checked, what? there were like 700 and something. Oh, okay. That's not as bad. It's not as bad, eh? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but um, the thing is here, they used to have MERS call. So I think they know how to treat this thing and they have it under control. What is that? MERS What's MERS call? What's that? MERS call is the same as the corona. Yeah, it's that? just the Middle East. It's M-E-R-S. Mm. Call. Same mm. as this COVID-19. Yes, yes, yes. It's mm. a call. It's a call. It's just that this one is Middle East respiratory um, coronavirus. Oh, so they know how to treat it and stuff. Yeah, they they, they, oh. they know how to. Though yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Um, what you call this? Uh, cases, yes, because people have traveled. People travel here a lot. Yeah. So yeah, that's why. Oh wow! Okay. But, cool. I don't know. No. And do you but then for it? them, but I do. I do. I was supposed to come home now on the first, and now it's under lockdown. Ramaphosa locked down the airport. <laughs> watch Saudi on the airport so hey I'm stuck here yeah. but to be honest somehow it's it's cool being here because I still get to get paid and work and whatever mm. Mm. and but you know for others I'm thinking that are like others who are on lockdown at home who mm. went home for vacation mm. some of them their vacation is like the leave days are over and now yeah. what's going to happen it's going to be oh. leave without pay so I'm awesome. just saying grateful that i'm here you know because here you work if you work you get paid if you don't work then hey right. oh, oh shame okay, cool us. man musa thank you are so you much are you from pretoria man. yeah i am i stay in centurion okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh so your next door neighbors to ghost ladies <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait 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 you, you. When you guys are doing the shooting at a house and you're talking about Oliver, and I'm like, hey, this is my hood. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> All right, Musa, thank you so much. We love you so much, man. Thank you so much for the love, right? I love you too, guys. I love you too. I'm a mad, mad, mad uh, fan of the podcast. Fantastic. Like, I've been watching also the other ones saying, how can we help? I'm willing to help oh. in any way. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right. I, I just I just wanted to continue and whatever because honestly being here you are kind of not in the know of what's going on especially yeah. in South Africa you yeah. guys oh. keep me informed at all times thank you so much uh, so we are part of and it's so nice. yeah we're essential services <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> yes oh, good all thank right. you so much Musa. Before we leave, let's send the send his shout out. Otherwise, Ghost Lady is yeah. going to be having me for the entire yeah, week. No. We've got two minutes left, no Ghost Lady. No? Okay. <laughs> Sandy. Uh, Sandy's so patient. Sandy knows how this thing works. He's been on it. Sit on your mic, Chief. Mike, Mike. <laughs> uh, okay, Sandy. Ah. Uh, Hello. Yes, Sandy. You've got two minutes. Hey, Shout Sandy. Outs. Shout outs. You've got two minutes, Chief. <laughs> What's up? Who do you want to send a shout out to? You've got two minutes, Chief. Ah, uh, send a shout out. Ghost Lady. What's up? Ghost Lady. Hi, Sandy. I'm working on that. I've been, I've been, 
uh, assigned to, to find who the ghost lady is. Oh, is it? Yeah. And how's that going? Well, so far, uh, getting there. I got a few okay. leads. Can I, can uh, I give you a clue? Can I give you a clue, Sandy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give him a clue. She's fucking up TikTok right now. She's like, she's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thanks, McG. <laughs> I'll, I'll look into that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Otherwise, how you yeah, doing? Yeah. We've got, we got a minute left, man. How you doing? Are you good? And no, I'm good, man. I'm good. And I just want to say thanks for you guys to always like reaching out. Yeah. And uh, I'm always staying in tune with uh, what's happening with the podcast. So uh, all the guys that are watching, like, subscribe, and what else? Thank you. And comment. Yeah. Yes. Thanks yes. so much. Yes. Go, Sandy. Yes. Love I need you. To go anyways, guys. All right. We love you. We love you, right, Sandy? Peace out, man. Thanks, Maggie. Sandy. Love you long Take time. Then, all right. Cheers, yeah. guys. Ghost Lady, we out. And by the way, everybody, relax. The manager episode is coming. It's coming. So we shall drop it soon. I think tomorrow it will be ready. Uh, so one. tomorrow, are we dropping tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow part one will be there. So relax. Oh, sweet. We can't wait. I can't wait for that yeah. show either. Oh. Ghost Lady, I love you. So tomorrow we are off. And then we'll see if we do this again on Friday. You'll let me know, ne? Yeah, on Friday, yeah, because um, Len was even saying we must do something cute just for the weekend, right? Let's, why not? Yeah. It's not like know? I'm going anyway. <laughs> no one is. How's your alcohol stash looking? Hey, I'm almost out, ghost lady. I am drinking water by fire by force right now. <laughs> I think like, by force. Mm-mm. If so, doesn't <laughs> open the, 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 the bottle stores, uh, we're going to have a World War Three. Yeah, I promise you. Could you not? Uh, at this rate, we might just have to do a drive to the townships. <laughs> yeah, but it's and 40 jazz. bucks a beer. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, it's oh, okay, keep lead. up. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.